Now I want to tackle the sixth question. So if 3 exponent x So we have 3 exponent x times 9 exponent y is equal to 243. And 3 exponent x divided by 3 exponent 2y is equal to 1 over 27. So we express all to a common base which is the highest common factor of all these numbers and that is 3. So that gives us Now, this is already 3 to be 3, so we have 3 exponent x We have 3 exponent x then times 9, which is 3 exponent 2 3 exponent 2y then this will give us 3 exponent 5 Then for this one, we have 3 exponent x already there. Then divided by 3 exponent 2y. Then 1 over 27 is 1 over 3 exponent 3. So now simplify further. This because they are multiplying, we write down one base for them. So we obtain 3 exponent x plus 2y. Is equal to 3 exponent 5. Now over here. We have one base which is 3 Now because they are dividing we subtract so we get minus 2y Is equal to Now 1 over 3 exponent 3 can be rewritten as 3 exponent negative 3 so now let's equate the exponents because the bases are the same. So for the top one, we have x plus 2y, x plus 2y is equal to 5. Now I'll call this equation 1. Then we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 3. I'll call this equation 2. Now let's add the two equations. If we add equation 1 and 2, we get so equation 1 plus equation 2 will give us 2x is equal to 5 plus negative 2 is 2. So it means that x is equal to 1. So this and this will give us 0. So if x is equal to 1, then we can put 1 in any of these equations. So let's put in the first equation. So we have x, which is 1. So x, which is 1. 
Okay, to insert it at once. So we have x which is 1 over here my plus 2y plus 2y is equal to 5. So we have 2y is equal to 5 minus 1 which is 4. So we get 2y is equal to sorry so we obtain y is equal to y is equal to one uh, y is equal to two so we have y is equal to two so x plus y x plus y is what we are looking for and this will give us 1 plus 2 therefore x plus y x plus y is equal to 3 x plus y is equal to 3 now let's look at the second aspect we want to find the equation of the line passing through these points so we must first of all you know, we use the we need to, we need to first of all find the slope of that line. Then we use the formula y minus y one y minus y one is equal to m, which is the slope to bracket x minus x one. So m is the slope which is also given by the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we plug in the y2 which is 2 over 3 2 over 3 minus y1 which is negative 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 so this is my y2 x2 then this is my y my x1 is my x1 y1 then so now we have over over x2 which is negative 1 minus 2 now let's simplify this to get 7 over 6 7 over 6 all over 3 that is all over negative 3 so the slope is equal to negative 7 over 18 negative 7 over 18 now we can plug this into this I'm going to use this these points we could choose this as x1 um, y1 and this as x2 y2 it doesn't matter anyone that is substitute you get the same result so I'm going to substitute this one. So in place of x1, I'll put negative 1. And in place of y1, I'll put 2 over 3. So we get y minus y1. That is y minus 2 over 3. y minus 2 over 3 is equal to, is equal to m, which is negative 7 over 18. 87 over 18 into bracket x minus negative 1 negative 1 this particular negative 1 so we multiply through by 18 
to get 18y 18y then 18 times this will give us minus 12 because 18 will go into 3 will go into 18 6 times 6 times 2 will give us 12 then it's equal to negative 7 into bracket x plus 1 now let's expand so we get 18y 18y is equal to okay 18y minus 12 18y minus 12 is equal to negative 7x negative 7x minus 7 let's group like terms to get 7x now let's combine or let's rewrite it in standard form we are not grouping like terms but we're writing in standard form so the 7 comes here to become positive so plus 18y over here is equal to now 12 12 plus negative 7 will give us 5 12 plus negative 7 will give us 5 so this is the standard form of the equation because you are not required to leave it in any form I will leave it in a standard form so this is the required equation of the line Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.